Today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report, we'll review the Tigers' victory over the Hofstra Pride. Get ready, fans. The Tiger Lacrosse Report starts now. Hello again and welcome back to the Tiger Lacrosse Report. I'm your host Ben Rosenbaum. Towson picked up a victory over the Hofstra Pride as they continue to roll in CAA play. As always, I'm joined by head coach Sony LaMonica. And coach, a uh, little bit of a fight on your hands in that game. We haven't seen one in a while for you guys. Uh, was it good though to have a game where you needed them to have to get pushed a little bit? It always is. You know, I think you learn most from the challenges and the adversities the players face throughout the game. and. Um, it's always um, really good as a coach to get a sense of how they react and respond to it, how they overcome it. Um, and, you know, earlier in the season we had some, you know, some tough situations that we didn't necessarily respond great to. And it's just great to see um, this team, um, how they've evolved and changed and demonstrated that um, against Hofstra, who, you know, gave us a great battle. And, you know, the last few years they really have. So um, we couldn't afford to you know, come out flat, we had to play tough and, um, you know, manage a, a tough comeback from them in the second half. A couple of big performances, um, one in particular, a career milestone for Tiana Wall for picking up her 100th career ter cause turnover. Right. Uh, that's just a great, for someone who's worked so hard and meant so much to the program, that's just a great, only the second one in history, um, second to Hillary Fratsky now, yeah. who to pick up 100 cause turnovers in the Yeah, career. T's just, um, she's having a, a blinder year. I mean, she's just um, going out with a force. I think, um, you know, she's one of those players that is truly just um, enjoying every moment, um, giving her best and, and making the most of every opportunity. And you see that through her play, um, the way she um, sells out. You know, she just, um, you know, she's pushing her, her transition. She's doing everything she can to take care of the ball. She's um, putting her body on the line a lot. And, um, you know, that's just a, a strong characteristic of her play. And um, she's been a tremendous um, a leader and a, a role model, I think, for her teammates, for sure. So it's been good. And then on the offensive end, um, the team was struggling getting the ball inside and or getting the ball in the goal. And, in the net, uh, yeah. Yeah, Carly yeah. Telekamp um, said, hop on my back, and she finishes with seven <laughs> goals. <laughs> yeah, she did. She, um, you know, our team debriefing, you know, we talked about sort of, you know, where our challenges were when we need to do a little better. And, you know, for us, we've set the bar so high in terms of our shooting percentage and our finishing ability in general, plus on our eight meters. And that was um, kind of a little short outside of Carly who, you're right, um, really did shoulder that, um, that load in a sense of, of making sure that we capitalised when the opportunity was there and that we were strong finishers. So, um, you know, you, you hope that sometimes, um, you know, you, you might, your team might struggle in certain areas, but you have somebody who's a spark, and, and Carly was that spark for us, and that ignited some others to um, do a little better job than we were earlier in the game. And on the other side, um, going back to the defensive side, in the press conference you mentioned that Keating's maybe worst game uh, is somebody's average game. Right. Uh, what did you think about the way the goalkeeping played out for that game and your decision to pull Kylie? Yeah, sure. I think, um, you know, sometimes you just need a spark and, and to change it up. And I think, um, you know, Rachel's been doing a great job in practice. Um, she's hungry to be out there, no question, um, as everybody is. She is very hungry and determined. Um, and, you know, I think at that point in the game, um, just a little switch up um, was needed. Um, I don't regret the decision. I have all the confidence in the world in Kylie. Um, you know, she, she recovers well, and I think that she's going to bounce back. Um, but also it's great to um, be able to get Rachel some opportunity and also to just test her and how she handles going into, you know, a situation where the game could be on the line here and how can she respond and how can she hold it and pick the team up. So um, I think that's all part of the growth for all of our goalies. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, they're, they're better for it. They're a great team off the field together. Um, they really um, respect one another. They support each other. So, um, you know, I think that's, that's tremendous on their part. Um, and, you know, we they just both have to be ready. We mentioned Tiana with her two cost turnovers. Defense was led uh, by Sammy Chenna with that game, and we always talk about, it's, it's always, it's just like with the goal scoring, there's always another defender who leads the charge, uh, and Sammy turned in a great game. Yeah, five cost turnovers. Um, 
she's again, she's just a force. She is a force, um, you know, and she continues to be a, a huge spark for us as well. You know, we've got many sparks on the field. Sammy's definitely one of them. And um, she just, um, she's so dependable. I really, you know what you're gonna get with Sammy. Um, she, she's tough and strong and plays such great body. Um, really, does she get beat? She's been beat a couple times, but she's a fast learner and, um, you know, I think she's toughest on herself and she responds really well to setbacks. So um, she's just outstanding and it's really great to see her um, on this upward swing this season after getting some great experience last year. She's really solidified herself as one of our best defenders. All right, that'll do it for us today on the Tiger Lacrosse Report. Join us next time when we preview the Tigers' two final regular season games against the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays and the James Madison Dukes. For head coach Sonia LaMonica, I'm Ben Rosenbaum. Thanks for joining us and as always, go Tigers.